from a trash fire in China that kept getting worse and worse and worse, and a sinkhole in Kentucky that swallowed a million dollars worth of Corvettes, to a burst pipe in Ukraine that sent massive slabs of concrete flying in every direction and much more. Here are five catastrophic failures caught on CCTV camera. Shantou, China is a prefecture-level city of about 5.5 million people in Guangdong province. Somewhere on the side of a busy street, there's a tiny chemical shop where you can buy, well, all sorts of chemicals. Apparently, instructions on proper disposal were not included in the packaging. On March 25th of 2023, someone threw their unwanted chemicals in a trash can by the road. They reacted with whatever was inside and ignited a small fire. Common sense would tell anyone to throw water on a trash fire. Unfortunately, that was the worst thing you could do. Another woman ran to try and help, but she didn't get the memo that water makes things worse. Whatever was in that trash can is now leaking all over the road. It's also all over some poor person's car. The man in the black jacket is the shop owner. He gets a little too close for comfort when the trash can explodes again. But what could be inside that's making it blow like a firework? There are plenty of chemicals that react poorly with water. The most common are five of the six alkali metals. Lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, and cesium. When exposed to water, potassium basically catches fire and explodes. Rubidium detonates like a firework, but cesium is the most violent. Now, we're not saying the trash can was full of alkali metals, but it would explain the explosive reaction with water. The next time you're driving through Bowling Green, Kentucky, check out the National Corvette Museum just off I-65. Built in 1994, the museum showcases Chevy Corvettes, one of the most recognizable American sports cars. But for all its flashy and expensive rides, the museum is better known for something else. On February 12th of 2014, a massive sinkhole opened under the museum's Sky Dome exhibit. It happened in the early morning hours, and nobody was inside when it collapsed. Thankfully, security cameras were rolling to catch the entire thing. Now, you don't need high-quality footage to tell that those are some expensive cars. Keep your eye on the orange one in the middle. In one frame, the whole floor sinks an inch or two. You can see dust plume from under the white car before the orange one nearly falls in. It just barely hangs on by the bumper, but it won't stay like that for long. The floor keeps sinking, and the orange and white cars eventually fall. In total, the sinkhole swallowed eight cars before anyone arrived. They believe the sinkhole opened around 5.30. Alarms inside the museum went off about 15 minutes later, which automatically called the police. They probably expected to roll up on some car thieves. Instead, Mother Nature had other ideas. According to reports, the estimated value of all eight Corvettes was about $1 million. They were all unique models, so it's hard to pinpoint an accurate price tag. On May 29th of 2017, CCTV cameras in the Ukrainian capital of Kyiv captured one of the most freak incidents you'll ever see. First, the ground began shaking out of nowhere. Then, an underground water pipe burst like a ticking time bomb. A woman is walking by when she feels the shake. Then, kaboom! A cascade of mud, water, and who knows what spreads in every direction. It covers a few parked cars, and water begins flooding the street. One guy runs onto his porch to see what the heck is going on. Thankfully, he lives at the top of the hill. Nobody was hurt when the pipe exploded, though we can't say what caused it. Whatever it was, there must have been a ton of pressure building underground. Another pipe erupted in Turkey in June of 2020. This one happened shortly after road crews dug up a stretch of pavement. One car makes it over the dirt patch. 
Everything seems normal until the black car approaches. Then, the ground bulges and water spews from the underground pipes. The black SUV backs away as water shoots as high as the trees. According to reports, the rupture opened a 16-foot sinkhole in the street. Whatever you're watching this video on, chances are it's powered by a lithium-ion battery. Remember earlier when we were talking about alkali metals and water? Well, lithium is one of those metals, meaning if your device ever catches fire, pouring water on it might not be the best idea. The bigger the battery, the bigger the fire. So, as you can imagine, the battery inside of an e-scooter probably makes a big boom. Now, there's been an uptick in scooter battery incidents over the past few years. On New Year's Eve of 2021, one man learned how dangerous they can be. It's just after 6 a.m. Our shirtless homeowner is about to step outside when his e-scooter bursts into flames. Panic sets in, so he does what we're all trained to do, grab water. Unfortunately, he takes a tumble on his way back. The water lands next to the scooter and blows up in his face. He opens the door to let the smoke out and escapes moments before another huge explosion. The chemicals inside the battery burn with an array of colors. Smoke fills the room, and sparks fly from wall to wall. Thankfully, it doesn't look like the fire is catching on anything important. We're sure he had some smoke damage to fix afterward. In 2022, there were over 200 fires in New York City related to e-bikes and scooters. According to the fire department, lithium-ion battery explosions were the third leading cause of fire in the city. When charging lithium-ion batteries, always use the charger that came with the device. Using third-party chargers can lead to damage and fires. Lake Dunlap is an artificial reservoir in Guadalupe County, Texas. It was formed in 1931 when they built a dam to provide hydroelectric power to the area. In the early 60s, lake and dam management was transferred to the Guadalupe Blanco River Authority. Until 2019, it served as an outdoor recreation, fishing, and boating venue. Everything changed on May 14th of 2019. The dam's 90-year-old spillway finally gave up. By the end of the day, nearly all of Lake Dunlap had drained. CCTV cameras captured the stunning moment when the dam catastrophically failed. The water seems perfectly calm and smooth, but look at that middle section. You can see some imperfections forming. Eventually, the entire wall comes loose. It propels out of its spot and crashes into the water below. Water levels drop by the second. The future looked pretty grim for Lake Dunlap. Locals were heartbroken to see their favorite vacation spot look more like a hollowed-out crater. According to reports, the collapse was due to aging industrial steel used to build the dam. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.